This movie tells about the future, when the Earth is dying because of global warming. As a result, there is a huge fire all over the world that burns all the plants and trees. Many of the animals have also gone extinct because of the dryness of the world and the thinning of oxygen. Likewise with the remaining humans, besides the dwindling food supply, the oxygen they breathe has become very toxic, so they are forced to buy artificial oxygen. And from the many countries that have been destroyed, only Australia remains that still has energy resources. They use nuclear power to supply electricity to the entire city. Then, there is a young man named Ethan White, a technician who at that time was repairing the nuclear power stability system. Although the job is very dangerous, he still works hard to provide oxygen for himself and his wife. Because in that era, synthetic oxygen was very expensive, even more expensive than food and other necessities. Then, when he got home, Ethan gave his wife a gift of a high-quality oxygen mask. His wife's name is Xanthi. Although they live with a tight budget, they are still very happy with their lives. But when they were joking around, suddenly Xanthi vomited blood, which turned out that Xanthi at that time suffered from lung disease because of inhaling too much toxic oxygen. Then the next day, Ethan, who was working with his brother named Jude, they were suddenly taken to a company that made artificial oxygen named Chronicorp. There, they met someone named Regina Jackson, and she was the head of particle research technology there. Regina explained that soon their artificial oxygen supply would run out and everything would be destroyed. But, she said there was still a way to save humanity from extinction by giving Ethan a secret mission, because she said Ethan was the only person who could do the mission. Ethan, who was confused, was then taken to a lab, where they had created a time machine to go to the future. Regina explained that 20 years ago, they and Ethan's father named Richard, who was also a chief scientist there, had created the machine for the purpose of saving humanity. Unfortunately, in the middle of his research, Ethan's father suddenly disappeared, and without him, the process of making the machine became very slow, until finally they were able to send a clock to 20 years later and bring it back to that time. Even before that, when they first tested the machine, they sent a message to 407 years in the future, and they got a reply that meant humans were still alive on Earth until then. And what was even more surprising, it turned out that the people in the future told them to send Ethan to do the mission. They didn't know who sent the message, but they hoped that by sending Ethan, humans could be saved from extinction. But there was one problem. At that time, they didn't know how to bring Ethan back to 2067. Knowing that, Ethan initially didn't want to leave his wife alone, but because of Jude's suggestion that if Ethan left, then humanity would be saved, including his wife, Ethan immediately remembered his childhood memories. At that time, Ethan was given a gift by his father, an object that his father made himself because he believed that Ethan would be an important person in the future. Then when Ethan wanted to take the gift, suddenly a device stuck to his wrist and the device could not be removed, even until Ethan grew up. At that time, Ethan was really confused about what decision he should take between staying with his wife or saving all of humanity. Reluctantly, Ethan went to Chronicorp and agreed to go to the future for the sake of his wife and all of humanity. When he woke up from his faint, Ethan removed the burned protective clothing from his body. After that, Ethan was shocked to realize that the earth in that time had now grown back with trees so densely. Then, with the help of a sophisticated device, found out where he was and looked for buildings around there. He hoped to meet the people in the future soon, but the first thing he met there was a human skull that seemed to have died from a gunshot wound to the head. And how surprised Ethan was, it turned out that the skull was named Ethan White. Even the clothes, sophisticated cell phone, and bracelet he wore were the same. But there was only a slight difference on his bracelet. The light on the bracelet on the skull was green, while Ethan's was red. Then because Ethan couldn't open the door, he went to look for signs of life elsewhere. And at night, Ethan, who had never felt surviving in the forest, tried to make a fire. Afterwards, because he was hungry, he ate a fruit that he unknowingly turned out to be very poisonous, until it made Ethan experience high-level hallucinations. When hallucinating, Ethan saw his father's figure saying that he had to find his way home. After waking up, it turned out that the person he saw earlier was none other than Jude. Jude explained his arrival there because he knew Ethan had been poisoned. 
He could know that because in the clothes they wore, there was a device that could reflect the heartbeat to 2067. So Jude came to the future to help Ethan. After that, Ethan showed his own skull to Jude. Jude here thought Ethan was still hallucinating. He said how could Ethan, in the middle of the forest, become a skull, while Ethan is still alive, and there with Jude. Then, using a sophisticated cell phone, they both went to look for life there. And not long after, they found another gate. But when the door opened, there was no one there. The place looked deserted, and seemed to have been abandoned for a long time. But there was something that made them confused. The computer there was still on, and seemed to be waiting for Ethan's arrival. Then, after Ethan activated it, suddenly the bracelet that Ethan wore hurt his own hand. It turned out that the bracelet took a DNA sample from Ethan, so Ethan was now given full access to the place. It turned out that the place was the place of the time machine that they used to go to 400 years in that time. The place did not change at all, just a little dusty and mossy. Ethan, who was made even more confused, replayed the recording when the machine was created. Then, a hologram of Dr. Richard, a.k.a. Ethan's father, appeared. He explained that at that time they were happy with the achievement that had created a device that could change everything. But when he sent a signal to the future, he was shocked to get a reply that told him to send his own son to the future. At that time, suddenly the cooling power of the nuclear core broke, which meant that the portal to return to 2067 would not open. What was more terrifying... If within four hours they could not fix the damage, then the nuclear they used as a source of energy would explode and destroy everything. Quickly they went to fix the damage. Then, when they headed to the city where they used to live, it turned out that the city had now been destroyed. There were also human skulls scattered in every corner of the city. There were also skulls that still wore oxygen masks. That means humans in the past all died from lack of oxygen. So did Xanthi. Ethan found his wife's skull in his old house. Ethan, who was very sad because he felt he had failed, suddenly remembered his bitter memories in the past. In the past, Ethan and his mother were left by his father. The two of them then went to a place. But on the way, suddenly there were two people who blocked them. Here, Ethan's mother had to die because she was shot, while he was dying because his oxygen mask was taken. But when Ethan started to faint, suddenly someone helped him. And that person was none other than Jude. That's why Ethan considers Jude as his own brother. Because Jude always helps Ethan at the right time. Then, when Jude calmed Ethan who was deeply traumatized, without realizing it, Jude said the same thing as the words on the cell phone recording belonging to Ethan's skull, and seeing that Jude committed suicide. The two of them are now arguing because they are confused by everything they experience, on strange things that have never happened before. But suddenly, because they didn't have much time to fix the nuclear core, they put aside the weird thing. And here once again, Jude helped Ethan who was almost dead, because he tried to fix the nuclear core manually, similar to what he did before. When the nuclear core was successfully repaired, they returned to go home using the time machine. But suddenly here, Ethan was still curious about what happened to his skull. To find out what happened, he moved his cell phone battery to the cell phone belonging to the skull, and all the mysteries that had confused Ethan were revealed. There, it was seen that if Ethan returned to 2067, Jude would also kill Ethan as soon as he arrived in that year. Ethan also found the last recording from his father, who apparently had prepared a plan that everything he did was only for Ethan's life. All this time, his father really loved Ethan very much. Meanwhile, the mastermind of Ethan's bad fate all this time was actually Regina's doing. In fact, Ethan's father didn't run away from responsibility and he didn't leave Ethan and his mother, because at that time, he was killed by Regina. Even after killing Ethan's father, Regina ordered Jude to be Ethan's helper and guardian, because only Ethan could activate the time machine. Now Ethan knew the truth. They are now back to fighting and blaming each other, which in the end, Jude committed suicide again. On the other hand, Regina and her chosen people at that time were waiting for the time machine to activate. They planned to run away from there to the future. But how shocked Regina was, because the time machine that had been activated was already filled with hundreds of trees and plants. It turned out that Ethan deliberately sent the trees so that humans in 2067 would not escape to the future. 
Ethan also destroyed the time machine. He wanted all humans in that year to have the same chance of life by planting the trees, so that the Earth could start regenerating ecologically, and humans could breathe clean oxygen again. As a farewell to Xanthi, Ethan also sent her a flower. Meanwhile, Ethan himself in 2474, he saw the Earth that had now become more integrated with nature. People in the past had apparently succeeded in saving the Earth. It looked very beautiful, and so beautiful to look at. And the movie ends. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Because by subscribing you have supported me to make better videos. See you in the next video. Two.